Hi, I'm Valentina V, and welcome to 4 Minute Film School. Have you ever wanted to shoot a beauty commercial like this? Today, I'm going to show you three ways how to do it. All right, if you're anything like me, you're constantly seeing commercials for beauty products, either on the TV or on your Instagram feed. Revlon, Maybelline, CoverGirl, they're huge companies, right? But there are all these indie brands that are popping up everywhere and they need people to shoot their commercials. So I wanna help you out because shooting beauty is not like shooting anything else. It requires its own special set of rules. For example, you have to watch out for people's skin tones and make sure that your lighting complements them. You have to make sure that you know the location you're in and you're using your location to the full advantage. And of course, the most important rule of all, you have to make your subjects look beautiful. How do you do all this? Well, I happen to know a little bit about it. I've been shooting beauty for over five years now and I got some tips, so let's go to the studio. Some white psych studios have lighting rigged up top. Sometimes the lighting rig for example, isn't on a DMX board, so you can't control it. The second thing for a white psych is make sure that the room is big enough because the number one mistake that people do is to put the model next to the back. What happens when you shine a light onto the model is their shadow goes on the backdrop and it looks terrible. You actually need quite a lot of room between your backdrop and your model. Another reason that it is super important that you get a room that has enough depth in it is what lens are you gonna shoot with? Anything between that 50 and 100 range is going to give you a natural looking face that isn't distorted. All right, how are you gonna light it? The first things first, the backdrop. You want it to be naturally white. In this case, I used panel lights. The great thing about panel lights is that number one, they are super soft and number two they have a wide beam angle which means that only two panel lights can cover this entire background so now for your main lights your key and fill lights three considerations number one you want it to be nice and soft number two you want to make sure that the lights are circular because of the catch lights in her eyes. You want them to be natural looking. And number three, the direction from which the lights are going. You want them to be as forward as possible. Both of them are hitting her evenly on both sides. One of them is turned down a little bit, just so we have a little bit of definition to the face. It creates a larger contrast ratio between the light side of the face and the dark side of the face. Lastly, it's good to have a nice solid white bounce. Here we have it on a baby C stand with a platypus clamp. This bounce is gonna catch any light that is coming off of the front lights and kick it back towards her face. Any area of brightness around her body is gonna blend into the background. So you wanna make sure that the background intensity is a little bit lower than the rim light intensity. You also want to make sure that the rim lights are hitting her perfectly, silhouetting her and wrapping around her body that you get a really nice hair light, but not enough that it starts hitting her nose and her cheek. All right, this is the whole setup all together. If you want to do beauty lighting in a studio on a budget, I got you. First of all, the camera. This is my first camera ever. It is the Canon T3i, its main feature. Oh yeah, I got that flip screen, bro. As far as the lighting goes, we've switched it up a little. For the lighting on the background, you just need a light that's gonna give you a wide enough spread. In this case, we switched out the LS1s for these HR672 lights. For the key light, this time we have just one light and it is another HR672 panel. I am bouncing it off of a silver umbrella. I still get the nice round catch light in the eye and the light is quite soft. Then of course we have the bounce underneath. We kept this the same. And for our rim light, we just use these five-in-one reflectors. And they're actually bouncing this key light over onto her shoulders and accentuating her hair. Let's take a look at it.
Now we are outside the studio because a lot of commercial lighting setups for beauty have kind of moved out of the studio environment and into a more natural outdoorsy environment. There's anything but natural stuff going on in these commercials. Why? When you have a big production, you can't rely on the weather being sunny. You can't rely on cloud cover should you need cloud cover. You have to control the light yourself, especially if you are shooting at noon or at 3 p.m anytime when the light is not flattering and just use the outdoors as your background. So the first thing I wanted to do was to take a big 12 by 12 frame of diffusion. I wanted to get all of that really nice texture in the background along with a little bit of the sky. Second, I needed to create my own sun. So for that, I employed the 300D2 and the spotlight mount. The spotlight mount really concentrates that light and makes it even stronger. And lastly, I wanted a soft key light on her face, but just on one side so that we still had a little bit of dimension. So I used another 300D2 with the light dome too. It's creating a nice curved light around her face. And that way you can see the light in her eyes and it gives her a little bit of sparkle. All right, let's take a look at what we shot. So for this easy setup, what we did was we had my trusty T3i. So in this case, we had just one reflector being held by an assistant, and that's all we needed. Any spot the sun hits, we can bounce off of. So if you hold the reflector up like this, you can still get a pretty nice bounce, and your subject will have nice, soft, top light on their skin, perfect for beauty. Let's take a look at this shot with our budget lighting and camera setup. In a lot of beauty commercials, you have the close-up of whatever the product is. So when I came into the studio, I saw this beautiful vanity and I thought we can actually use these practical bulbs as not only lighting on our subject's face, but also as an eye light. The first thing we did is we put up an LS panel with a little bit of diffusion on it so it wasn't as harsh, and we took it down to its lowest. We just want a little bit more of something in her eye. Then we realized that one side of her face was completely dark. So we have this light dome on a 300D2, and this combination just gave us a little bit more kick, a little bit more punch, and rounded out her face. Another thing that the studio had going for it was this gorgeous red curtain. And as it folds, it creates these areas of light and shadows. Let's take a look at it. Our last setup, the lower budget option for our close-up, again, the T3i is back. Instead of the panel for our additional catch light for the eye, we just have a piece of white styrofoam here. You can really use any piece of bounce material as long as it's white. For our fill light, we have an HR672 panel. We just need that to create a little bit of ambient in the room so that one side of her face isn't significantly darker than the other. Since you can't see much of the curtain anyway, it's not super important what's back there, just a splash of red will do ya. And number two, since we don't have a single source light because those tend to be a little bit more expensive, we just use a simple panel. So let's see this all put together. Just to recap, when you're shooting beauty, the main thing you have to look out for is making sure that there are no shadows on the face. So either use large soft sources, go outside, make sure that you have a fill, something like that is always gonna help you. Also make sure that you know what time of day you're shooting, where you're shooting, it's super important to scout the location so that you know it's suitable for your beauty needs. And lastly, skin tones are super important. You have to know what skin tone your model has and how to complement that skin tone the best. 
So there you go, that is your commercial beauty lighting episode. If you wanna learn more about beauty lighting, I already did an episode on this channel with different types of skin tones, so go check it out. But for today, I wanna know, what else do you want me to show you? Leave it in the comments for a chance to win an Aperture MC, which is our RGB light. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel. My social media links and our models will be down below. And until next time, bye.